reasons, one of the main reasons we stack our trays um, is to ensure the pressure from the trays above and then the weight on top here keeps the seed in good contact with the soil and so there's always moisture uh, on the seed which ensures really good germination. And it may seem trivial but you can see here we've actually got really good uniform germination. I've uncovered this one on top. You can see it's very good. And one way of testing this is to not put this cement block on top, which I don't recommend. But as I'm uncovering our pea crop today, you can see we've got pretty consistent, pretty consistent, pretty consistent. And then we hit this tray right here. So this was the top tray on a stack without any weight on it. And that's about a 12 pound weight. And you can see it's a clear difference between the two trays in terms of germination. And what you often see is, is the, the, these are actually uh, raised up. The, the peas end up being quite dynamic in here and what's happening is the roots aren't getting down into the soil as well so this tray in the end will be okay but it will not perform as good as one of these trays. So these are the other two in the stack here. They're fine because they had the pressure of the first tray on them but your top tray suffers without the weight on top. So it's really important to make sure you've got that weight because that's what's going to give you good contact between the seed and the soil which ensures the seed stays moist and that's really important for uh, good germination. And you can see the difference there.